start to play. All right. Playing as white against a 1Q now. We are going to focus on mindset specifically regarding planning things, where to go. Planning, thinking ahead mindset. They want influence, but that's okay. We are going to go ahead with They resigned because I wasn't playing fast enough. I am trying so hard. Not to get the, wo the world of Kiyus, everybody is an interesting one for me as a Dawn player. Okay, they don't want me to profit much, if anything. I'm going to approach. And I'll do the avalanche. That way, I have somewhere I can turn to. Uh, okay... I guess I'll just take influence. And I will turn. I will... Hane, because I can still attack this group. I can double Hane. Okay, fine, you're alive. Okay. We got our goal of getting that, uh, getting some stones over here to help so I can have some kind of profit because that, that's why I did what I did with trying to do the avalanche because I wanted to build up influence to ha uh, work with this stone here. Uh, here I will go ahead and pincer because I'm going to continue with that mindset of wanting to... You can have the corner. That's fine. Bad variation. Less Augie for them. But you can have the corner. Go ahead. Okay. So they're living with uh, two, four, six, eight points there. Two, four, maybe eight up there as well. So white has maybe 16 points. And... They're trying to be more sly about the aspect of trying to keep me from building much in territory or points. But here, all I need to do is push to my strength. Because that is what thickness is for. Now, they could poke there, but that's not really going to do much for them. Instead, I will just play high. Or do I want to approach? Because if they play here, it's it's just like what we were talking about before where they don't have a base. But at the same time, nah, I'm going to play here. Because corner, corner, side, middle. No. Corner, side, middle. Corner, side, middle. Now I'm trying to build this up. This is totally fine. This does not bother me. Because you do not have a base, sir. As my voice crack is. 
That's fine. Again, fine, because you're not alive in either of those locations. Just turn. And I can't shoulder hit because they have the Hane, so I am just going to jump. That bump does nothing for them. It just makes my group stronger. What I'm going to do here is drop down because if I get this in, that could be a possible thing later on. Or it's just good end game for me. Uh, like so. I'm just, I'm just going to keep taking away their base because they're behind enemy lines. They're in my they're behind sector line. So because they're they're in because they're in my sector line. They're, what what's what is white going to gain from this? Mhm. Mm Are you going to tarry me? No. Okay. Now, the question is, are you alive, good sir? You're saying you have a chance. Okay, yeah, sure, you're alive. That's fine. I'm going to cap this side because, yeah, we'll say white's alive. But this side is not alive yet. So if I get this cap in and then eventually get some moves in here. Or I can just get more thickness for the center. But just know that you're not fully alive yet. Play this. Are you kidding me? Just no. No. Are you kidding me? All the Skote. Okay, this is what a 5Q has been doing before. I cannot do what I want for the videos of your play. <laughs> this. Annoyingly. I just want to make videos that will help people. <laughs> but no. Okay, if I take this... You have one eye. Not a threat. So let's just keep that shape disconnected. That's fine. I think they're just trying to kill my group up here now. But that's not going to happen. I just need to take away their ice shape. And that is that. So that's what I'm going to do. Yep. Sure. If you haven't been able to tell by now, I'm kind of irritated by the aggressive plays in these games. Just straight up. <sighs> why, why do Qs play like this? And I've made up, I've made a, I've made a decision. This is just going to be a compilation video. Because <laughs> this, this is, this is just really, really sad to look at. For me personally. Like, I don't know what to think or do or say. What are they going to do? Could, want to cut me there next? I, I just, I just, I don't know. No, I, in the past, I've gone against, uh, 
Q players that are actually not too overly aggressive and they like they do really well so it's not all it's not all of them but you're right just like Ty Gem, Fox is full of very aggressive players and now they're just trying to live in this area which is just not going to happen Like, what, what do I say? What do I do? <clears throat> Cause this is just sad. I don't even want to look at this anymore. Just keep getting rid of their shape. Good for you, you made table shape, good job. Good job. No. Gote. Gote. <laughs> Don't play Gote, you Q players. These are not cute. What what okay, what what's the opposite of cute but still involves the KY the Q? Like what what's a fun little word for that? It is a 1Q, yeah, but still, it's really sad to... I don't know. This, to me, is just really sad. Because I don't think 1Qs should be like this, either. Just in case I try to think of anything, I'm just going to get rid of this option. <sighs> Man. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry you are watching this. <laughs> This catastrophe of a game. Keep them in the area. Yeah. Th yeah, exactly. No one in the right mind would just play so tilty. Oh, yeah, yeah. The... Tygem and Fox Dons, like the low Dons, are the same exact way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just straight up, no. That doesn't... Okay, well, I'm going to threaten your corner then, too. Are you just trying to... Well, I mean, it, 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 I mean, not, okay, not everyone is like this, so, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, what? I'm not just going to cut you. I'm just going to... You have no eyes. Just... No. Be gone. Be gone. Basics is everything. As long as it's the good basics. Because the basics that this person is doing is basic suicide. It's not an eye. Maybe one eye in here, but that's it. Okay, good for you. You made a poke. 
I can connect, though. Just as you need significantly better fighting to make pure aggression work. Yep, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, to Kiyus, this might be a struggle for them because, may because maybe it's not as obvious to them as it is to me. But to Kiyus, it may not be as obvious, which is totally fine. I mean that things like that happens. It, it's all just a matter of experience and learning, and knowing when to give up Yo Yomi now starts I'm just going to play this way. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what this player is doing as well. They're just guessing. Are you kidding me? There... Th I will have to admit, now I'm getting offended by this one, Kiyu. Now they resign. <sighs> ay, 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 ay. Don't guess. Don't just randomly play. I'm showing how to win games with pure fighting. <laughs> Look at me. I'm destroying all these people because they're trying to be aggressive to me. But, I mean, yeah, I can be a little more specific about how to better that. Yes, I, I could potentially do that. But, honestly, you, it all just comes down. So, okay. How about, how about this? So, in this game, when it comes to fighting... The most important thing you can do to prepare for a fight and to fight is to have strong groups. The less Aji, the better. The more solidified the group, the better. Hmm. <laughs> so, like, for example, Black's Wall right here. I mean, there is the Aji of this cut here, or pokes for it. But but look at this position. Just look at looking at this. For for a fighting position, this is beautiful for black because not only do they have the extension out, um, white is completely surrounded. Thus, black has all of this uh, influence for the center. That's all you need for fighting. Depending on the, um, where you're building the wall, too. That also has a big part of it. But this is facing where I already have stones. And that's also why I pincered. Because I have this wall facing the top. And th this is the very first thing. Shape and thickness for fighting. That That's... Or at least for Moyo fighting. That That's all you need. Yeah, here's where the video comes in. Because... Fighting, it, it's really a simple thing, but it's just hard to grasp at first. I mean, I had the trouble at first as well, where I I just tried being aggressive and just guessing because I wanted to fight, thinking I wasn't fighting enough, but I wasn't building the thickness I needed, the influence, the good shape, and good connections. It's because I didn't have those things that it just went down the drain for me. It went down the toilet. It, it got flushed down. But here... I mean, if you just keep to the idea of thickness and influence, I mean, they're bound to play in your area. And then here, just just look at that shape, all that influence. It, it's it's beautiful. It's it's an A plus plus for those who want to fight, because there's there's where, where's where's white going to run if they invade in here? 
How is white going to make a base? The only possible place they can make a base is this right side by doing a splitting move. And even then, they're not fully alive because I can, at some point or another, play underneath. And just like showed in the game, I even captured the entire side too. I should have napkins on me or something. Uh, beat every nine, every non-nine dawn in Fuseki, but most six or seven dawns just wreck me in fights. Yeah. Yeah, with the the fighting, the fights get real in the higher ranks, especially six and seven dawn. Unless you're Dwyron, then things get interesting. So, like we, so coming back again to the whole fighting thing, uh, instead of playing here, I definitely could just straight up uh, play this extension to uh, then come back to playing underneath the two stones and really attacking them and whatnot. But I decided I'd try backing off a little bit because white's only at this point, the only potential white has for points is this corner. So if I take that away, th I already know that this corner is bigger than anything white has right now. So that's why I took went for this corner. I will admit this my, may have been a little slow. I probably could have gone back to this at this point. Uh, let's see here. Just two weak groups. All you have to do is, again, keep good shape. Make sure things are connected. Everything is alive. Yeah, I, I suck at openings too. Yeah, mid mid game is I mean mid game is where the true part of the game is. Uh here, I mean it's the mid game. I mean everything comes down to the mid game and in regards to the openings. Usually my openings are good if my opponent allows it. But when they're either faster paced or slightly more aggressive or assertive in the opening, my opening falls apart. My opening's the worst part, but it's when they give me the good openings that I'm not worried about the openings, but I do need to work on the openings. Find an excuse to start a fight? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you. the purpose of the opening is to say, okay, I want this side. I want this area. As well as, how can I prepare for this fight? How can I prepare to protect myself, to run, to help a weak group if I need to come back to it. So, I mean, that that's pretty much the gist of it. There's not really much else to fighting than that. Just staying alive, st keeping good connections, like, like just like these games that we've been doing so far. <laughs> 